Hello guys. So in this tutorial we are going to model a 3D furniture in Autodesk 3ds Max. So let's get started. So as you can see we have a uh, reference over here. So we are going to start it. So very first of all take a plane over here. And for creation of such shapes, uh, let's go into this. And let's take a chamfer box. Into the chamfer box, you have some of the segments. So you can increase, decrease the segments if required. So I'm keeping less segments right now. Can keep two segments. That's sufficient for now over here so let's uh, convert to <coughs> editable poly let's select this double click on the edge and let's extrude it so you can just extrude this stuff or else you can just extrude this you can just push it inside click ok you see so when you press uh, knob toggle you get such kind of a line now uh, the next thing over here we are going to do is like let's go into this and give a FFD box so let's uh, go into the FFD box and let's select the control points and let's push this out select this control points just push this out in this way so if you are uh, set to require some more points so you can you can go with this push this out this way <coughs> uh, just select this points push this out all right Now, uh, if you want to convert to editable poly again, you can just convert to editable poly. And now you have a modifier over here called bend. Let's take a bend modifier and let's bend it. So let's uh, bend this stuff. So before bending this uh, area what I am going to do over here is like uh, off this modifier or delete this modifier let's go into this free form and you have an option over here that's your pinch and spread let's uh, pinch the top area so let's just pinch it so we just go on pinching it just go on 
pinching it from all the sides alright so now you can just go into this and give a bend modifier give the direction as 90 and let's bend this stuff so this is a perfect way for the bending then you can use a modifier that's your taper modifier so you can use a taper modifier <coughs> so if you want to give a curve you can give a curve or you can just use a taper modifier in whatever axis you want so you have this is a effect and you want this to be more of you know kind of a down form and bend should be in this form so if you are done with this just convert to poly again and let's give again a taper and let's give a taper in this form so if you want you can again go over here and let's give a FFD box let's go into the points and you can just adjust this area in a much better way and convert to editable poly so you can just check out with the nubs toggle how it looks like better so you can just uh, remove this nubs toggle let's go to the top view and you can just take a box or a chamfer box just take a chamfer box over here just take a chamfer box just push it over here so go into this and just uh, reduce this reduce this stuff over here <coughs> and let's give a FFD box over here so you can just set it to your 5 by 5 by 5 click OK let's go to the top view go into the chamfer box push this over here push this here push this inside and you can just push this over here push this here so you can just push this over here push this here push this here and push this here better so uh, you can go over here and you can just select this and you can just push it up so if you miss any of it you can just push it up better so select this this all Uh, push it down so the most important again the thing comes uh, is your the segments so if you have uh, more segments just double click it remove the segments if they are not required and you have again that option that's your 
pinch and spread so you can use the pinch and spread option over here <coughs> so double click on it and use a extrude and click ok that's it all right so now as you can see over here uh, you can just save your file over here as a couch over here and let's give a turbo smooth select this and turbo smooth again over here to give a smoother look so you can just go into the top view uh, take a line over here just draw a line so you can just push it like this rendering enable in viewport and make it more of a rectangular that's it so go into the vertices so push this out select this push this over here or even you can use a curve over here you can use a arc can use a arc so you can use a arc also <coughs> can use a arc and you can just push it over here like this push it like this So convert to editable spline and you can just push it in out wherever it is required. You can increase less and width and you can just uh, copy this stuff over here. So let's go into the side view. Let's make it more simple, not much complicated so enable in viewport and make it as a take it as a, a tangle over here mirror it uh, copy this put it over there uh, to the back stuff or uh, in the front till here all right you can just push it back more of a back So just select this and just mirror it and you can just push the same thing here all together. So you can just place this here and place this. so let's uh, give a basic color to it and you can see your uh, basic couch 
is created over here so you want to make a duplicate of it so you can just go over here and you can make a duplicate of it so you can just push it down over here that's it and just save it for it all right so thanks for watching this tutorial